This video provides instructions on how to install an underdeck drainage system on a second story deck. A deck drainage system is designed to direct water away from your deck and into a gutter system below the deck. In this video, we are installing Trex Rain Escape, which is an over the joist system. This type of deck drainage system covers and protects the entire wooden substructure. It can be installed on a new composite or wood deck during construction. The Trex Rain Escape deck drainage system includes four main components. Downspouts, 12-foot or 16-foot trough material, 4-inch butyl tape, caulk. The tools you'll need to install the system are a staple gun and regular staples, a caulk gun, and a utility knife. Before you begin, there are four important factors to consider before you frame your deck. One, where do you want the gutter line located? Two, what type of railing will you use? Three, will you use a double or single picture frame or a divider board? Four, will the deck have any double or triple beams? Your answers to these questions will determine how the Trex Rain Escape system is installed. The first step in installing an underdeck drainage system is to install the downspouts. The downspout is designed for 12-inch or 16-inch joist spacing. Each bay has one downspout. The downspout is 10 inches tall and the perfect height for a 2x10 joist. To install a downspout, cut the pre-scored marked guideline on the downspout with a utility knife. Install the downspout along the rim joist or the ledger board, making sure the cut side is facing the deck bay. Staple the downspout into place. The downspout funnels water into a standard 5-inch gutter below the deck. The funnel nozzle of the downspout hangs at least 1 inch into the gutter line. The funnel can also be extended down for 2x12 LVL or I-joist. The downspout can also be trimmed to fit a smaller size joist, such as a 2x6 or 2x8. Now that the downspouts are installed, it's time to install the trough material. If you're installing the Trex Rain Escape system in a climate with fluctuating temperatures, the trough should be acclimated before installation. This is especially important when using the black trough. There are two methods to acclimate the material. The first is to fold a soft crease lengthwise down the center of the trough. This relaxes the trough material and creates a V down the middle, so the trough is easier to install. The second method is to simply unroll the trough material and let it sit for a while to acclimate to the outdoor temperature. If you plan on blocking between the joists, use blocking that is shorter than the joist height. The Trex Rain Escape system hangs down a maximum of 4 inches, so at the mid-span the trough will hang down 2 inches, which allows the blocking underneath. If you're installing the system 12 inches on center, measure and cut 4 inches off the width of the trough roll on the side that has the 1.5 inch score mark. Align the left edge of the trough with the outside of the joist. The smooth, shiny side is always installed facing upwards. To install, slide the trough underneath the flashing and make sure the trough edge sits on top of the ledger board. Staple the trough at the ledger board on the 1.5 inch score mark side. Unroll the trough halfway down the joist and put a second staple on the same side. If possible, have a second person hold taut the loose corner of the trough. Unroll the trough down the rest of the way and add a third staple on the same side. Trim the trough, making sure it's about midway across the funnel. Push the trough down into the opening of the funnel. Align the opposite side score mark to the inside of the joist and staple. With the second person still holding the loose corner of the trough, Work your way back to the starting point by stapling on both joists in a zigzag pattern. After installing the first trough, continue to the left and install the next. The 1.5 inch score mark side of the trough should be underneath the adjacent trough material. The trough material must cover all of the exposed wood of the deck frame. After the trough panels are installed, test to ensure the slope is correct. Pour water on the material at the ledger board. The water should run down to the downspout. Now seal the troughs. Trim excess trough material at the seams, but keep the overlap of the trough material. 
Use the Trex Rain Escape Butyl Tape to seal the trough seams on top of the joists. Peel the non-stick backing off the tape and apply the tape on top of the joists. The tape does two things. It covers the overlapping trough layers, preventing wicking, and also seals around the screws used to fasten the decking. The butyl tape should never be put directly on wood. Apply it only on top of the trough material. Use a utility knife to cut a small 1 inch by 3 quarter inch tab where the trough meets the downspout. Fold this tab straight down. The tab prevents water from wicking up underneath the trough and leaking outside the funnel. The trough should be smooth and with minimal wrinkling. If you find the water does not release properly, use a screen spline roller to create a V-shape. The V-shape will help to properly drain the water. The benefit of installing an over-the-joist deck drainage system like Trex Rain Escape is that the area below the deck is dry and usable. With drainage taken care of, you can finish the space below the deck by adding an under-deck ceiling and utilities for soffit lights, ceiling fans, outdoor cooking, relaxing, or gathering your friends to watch the big game on your outdoor TV. You could also use the space for much-needed storage. Whatever you choose to do, installing a deck drainage system on your elevated deck is the first step in creating an outdoor oasis you'll enjoy for years to come.